the 2012 NAB Show. Hello everyone, I'm Tyler Pyburn of The Pulse Network at thepulsenetwork.com discussing the great content shift, the really the, the shift that is taking place across our industry right now. We're talking about the shifting technologies in particular right now. We're talking with Peter Mogg, the CMO of High Vision. Peter, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you very much. Excellent. So let, let's talk about, first off, kind of talk about, you know, cloud transcoding efficiency, because one thing I think is interesting about that, you know, we just experienced here at the Pulse Network kind of the, the shift in technologies. You know, we've always been transcoding right here at home base, but, you know, just this past week, and we were able to uh, enable some of the, the cloud transcoding. To talk about some of the benefits of that right now. Well, I think what the what content providers are really striving for is really to you know, maximize the quality of the signals for the users and maximize the user experience, right? And the most difficult thing that people have been trying to overcome is actually the uplink, right? Mm -hmm. And primarily the move to being able to provide adaptive dynamic streaming as well as multi-stream content has exasperated the use of the resource of, of the uplink bandwidth. So what I think is interesting is, you know, you mentioned that quality because everybody wants that high quality. I mean, we've seen it, you know, dumbed down, if you will, and put it in layman's terms. But when you have it at that high quality, you know, if you're looking at a, a big time H.264, you're looking at something that is amazing, but you're still trying to fight off that latency. That, that's one of the problems that you're seeing with that. Yeah, well, I think that really the trick is is that you really need to use computing power where it naturally exists and, and take advantage of the scarce resources, right? So the, the real trick is is on the uplink bandwidth to really maximize that, send one big, one big stream per source signal up to, the, up to the cloud, and then from there, really, every source signal needs to be broken out into five or ten streams, depending on what platforms you're serving. So you really need to use the uplink bandwidth as efficiently as possible, and cloud transcoding is the way to do that. Now, as far as you're concerned, as far as high vision is concerned, what are you seeing a lot of people doing right now? Are they still trying to transcode back at the home base, or are we seeing more people move into the cloud transcoding? Oh, we're definitely we're definitely looking at a shift to cloud transcoding, but there aren't very many reliable offerings out there. Our Coolabyte technology has been really um, the premier software-based technology for encoding and transcoding, and being a software-based platform, it has allowed us easily to migrate to, to cloud-based computing power. He's Peter Mogg, the CMO of High Vision. I am Tyler Pyburn of the Pulse Network. Another conversation leading up to the 2012 NAB show.